Hey y'all, it's Cammy's Cam, and I'm back with another video. As I said, I was going to come back to you all and um, show y'all this OPK test that I took with, um, what is this, Clinical Guard. So, I was telling y'all before that um, I got a positive. Here's my positive. This is the stick that came out of it. So this is the positive clear blue OPK that I got on cycle day 24. It's a stagnant peak fertility reading, um, which I said I'd never get. They said I don't ovulate on my own. So um, to get a positive peak reading on an OPK is like a miracle to me. Like I'm excited and confused at the same time as I was saying in my last video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and watch the last video I, as I explain why it's so confusing because I am, I have an ovulation so I never ovulate on my own. I always have to take fertility pills but I did not take them this month because I had an HSG and the doctor didn't want me to take those pills so I'm all natural. I took serapeptase, those two Chinese herbal teas, um... I've been drinking cinnamon and honey with some lemon and apple cider vinegar. And I think that's about it. Um, but yeah. And then I had six days of those high. I had six days of the high peak fertility. The high fertility flashing smiley faces. Then on the seventh day I got a low which was very random so I get, I figured to myself that was my body not ovulating again. Like my body will try to gear up to ovulate, but it won't. So it was gearing up, I'm guessing, during this time. But then, um, it was already weird enough that I got six days of highs. But then, after the highs, it went straight back to the low. I never got a peak. So yesterday, I got the low. And today, I was just curious and took it again just to see. And I got a peak. And this is the peak reading. Um, so, this is cycle day 24, which is very late because if I ovulate, when I'm on my pills, my fertility pills, I usually ovulate on cycle day 19, 17 and 19. So, I did that test and I wanted to confirm that test. So, I went and took my clinical guard test and lo and behold, that is definitely a positive, y'all. I have a positive clinical guard OPK test too. I don't think it will focus. But yeah, this is the positives I use, I, I'm used to getting with the fertility pills on Femera. I can't get it, y'all. But anyways, it's positive. So, I'm starting to wonder, I'm wondering if those, if that tea helped me out. That tea or the syrup peptase. No, I never had blocked to this. My results from my HSG were clear. Everything was normal. But I was taking it anyway because I, I guess I already spent my money on it. I just figured it would help with my overall health. So, yeah. Still confusing on why it went straight to low yesterday. And then it's peak right now. Now, when I woke up this morning, I was... My drive was high. Like I was messing with my husband this morning, and I told him I want to go three times a day: morning, noon, and night. But it's Super Bowl Sunday, so he's not home. He's watching the game, so he's heading home now. And I'm wondering, I my cervical mucus right now. I can't tell how it is because you know, if there's something in you from when you did something, you're already gonna be like. It's already going to be stretchy because basically it's semen. So, and semen doesn't just come out of me. It doesn't just come out of you. It's, some of it stays in you and it comes out gradually. So, I'm not able to tell how my cervical mucus is right now. So, that's another reason it's confusing. I'm not sure if these are positive. But, you know, I should stop saying I'm not sure. Just take, take it because... That's something I prayed on for my body to naturally do what it's supposed to do. And I got positives and I'm here saying I'm confused. And mm, I'm going to 
test again tomorrow with this one, with this clinical guard, okay? Just out of curiosity. Because if these things are, if, if I'm really getting positives and knowing that I'm supposedly going to get an IUI, I think I might just hold off on paying thousands, hundreds of dollars for IUI and just keep doing what I've been doing and pray for the best because God is already showing up and showing out already. So I'm going to just trust them and just keep going, which is why I should just trust these tests and just take it as it says. I prayed for it and God is giving it to me. So I just need to like accept it. <laughs> it's hard to accept something that you've been praying for and you've been wanting. And then when you get the results that you're not used to, it's just hard to accept it or just to believe it. So I'm going to know, I'm just going to say that I am ovulating or I'm about to ovulate within the next 24 hours. Or either I've already ovulated and I'm just going to get positives from here. Everything's going to go good. So. I just want to update y'all with that. It was very confusing and this is just different. So, sorry I look a mess still. I just twist my hair. Um, but yeah, y'all pray for me. Let me know if this has ever happened to you. If you ever got multiple flashing smiley faces in a row and then went back to a low. And then went back to your peak. Let me know if that's ever happened to you. Because I just want some answers. I'm going to trust the process though. Just like I'm supposed to. Um, but yeah, that's all. I just wanted to update y'all a little bit. And I will let y'all know what happens from here. I'm going to test tomorrow also, tomorrow also. So, I don't know if I'm going to do a video on that. If y'all want me to, let me know <laughs> tonight. So yeah, I will talk to y'all later. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and follow my journey. And I will talk to y'all later, okay? Bye.